Today we're going to be drilling out a broken key on my 1979 Valley Dixieland pinball. It's actually a bingo pinball. We'll go over the machine in, in another video. But this is just a quick how to replace a lock key. Well, my bingo machine actually still works on coins, so I've got a bunch of quarters in there that I need to get out. So I'm just going to show you real quick what you need is a drill, cordless, corded, doesn't matter. I use a 3 8 drill bit and obviously you want to replace that with something. I've got a replacement lock cylinder here, got the little uh, flag that goes on the back of it that actually does the locking. I haven't done a video before, so I'm very new to this. So, without further ado, get your safety glasses. I suggest a paper towel or even a garbage can to catch the shavings that are come off of here. And so, just some three-in-one oil, even a little bit of WD-40 would work on there. It's not to protect the lock, obviously. We don't care about that because we're drilling it. Put a couple drops on there. Might even be a little too much. We'll come in here, we're gonna go straight in. that little flag assembly I was talking about. That doesn't work anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew that flag. And notice, I'll show you a comparison here. This is the old one. I don't know if the camera shows it or not. Got a slight bend in it. And what that does is make sure that it catches the door just right. The new one is kind of straight. It's very straight. I'd have to re-bend it. See the the gap showing me the between the two. So I'm gonna take the one that already has that bend. It's already it's already where I need it. I have a house full here, so and a crazy dog, so two crazy dogs, and the one likes to bark at everything. So you probably hear her in the background. I'll take this lock loose. Got my just a crescent wrench will work, or a pair of channel locks, or the right size wrench works the best. There's a. Let's see if I can get this here on camera. Slip it around. Get this uh, nut loose here. Just take this off.
that aside, this just pushes out, or it should. All right, so we pry this little piece off of here. Set that aside. We got our garbage can that caught the shavings. It's right where that goes. It's pretty much useless. So I left the hole. There's my quarters. That's what I want back. 79 Valley Dixieland. That's a bingo. Okay. So now I'll set this up. We'll get our new lock ready to go. We'll show you how to put it back on. See you right back. Okay, folks. I got my new lock cylinder here. Lock and key. What you want to do is you see this orientation here. There's these the flat sides. That's going to match up on this door with the top. The flat sides are horizontal, so it would sit. It would sit with the flat on the top and the bottom because they're horizontal here. Okay. You also want to check when you're putting these on that it's locked. That the key only comes out in one in one position on these. It doesn't come out right now. With it turned to the right, turned to the left, is it's locked. So in this case, when the door is shut, that key will sit horizontal when it's locked. So that means that you want this tab, the actual locking mechanism. See, it's got square ends here. You want it to sit. Horizontal, like as, it, as if this is sitting in the door, this is going to be on the inside catching the, the cabinet itself. Okay, so it's locked right now. And then if I turn it clockwise, that tab will rotate clockwise as well on the other side, leaving it to let the cabinet swing free. The coin door, rather. Okay, so we'll put that in here. That's that little cam piece there that we had to pop off that other lock that was making it stick. So, I'm going to take this, put this through the door, nothing to it. It's in the, it would be in the locked position right now. So we're going to take this, it's got a square, uh, square hole, so only fits four ways essentially, but it will hold it in the right direction that you need. I just get the Threads on the screw started there. Well, this is a whole lot different when you're filming something. It goes a whole lot slower. Okay. Screw that. Screwdriver. Oh, hey, dummy. So with that cylinder in place, I want to put the, the nut on. My hand actually has some blue paint on it. That's not camera tricks. Some blue spray paint. I'm actually making a play field rotisserie for somebody. And there's my crazy dog barking in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But put this on here. Snug it up. Not necessarily the right way to use a wrench. It's what I had handy. Okay, turns free. So if it were open right now, that key will not come out. Turn it horizontal, that where it would be locked, the key comes out. Okay, so we know it's locked right now. We can take the key out for a second to hold it, help hold it still. We'll put this this tab back on here. This is the one that had the little bend. And let's see. So it'll sit like that. We'll 
tighten it up. Got a little star wash on there to help hold it tight. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know how well that that recorded. So technically it's locked. The cabinet won't shut. So we put this in here. Okay, it's unlocked. Tab is down. Let's see what happens. And I put the tab on backwards. This has a bend in it. Remember we saved the old one? Because it already has the bend that it needs to hold this door tight. And if it's not tight, we can always adjust it just by bending it one way or another. We don't want the, the door to be sloppy. So we want this the bend to come away from the back of the cabinet door a little bit so it can catch the inside of the cabinet just right. So let's line this up. It's got a square tab on it. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so you can see this. I'm going to have to keep backing off. Okay. Why is it not tightening? I have gotten these with cross threads in them, which totally defeats the purpose. We're going to tighten this, maybe, there we go, okay, now see how this tab, I don't know if the camera shows it good enough, kind of comes away, it, so it would bend towards the inside of the cabinet, so this lets more of the, uh, the part that it's catching, catch, see it won't shut right now because it's locked, so, this is a double-sided key. It really doesn't make a difference what kind you get. There's no play in it. It's not flopping. You don't hear any banging. That's a good... Join us next time. Maybe we'll uh, do another repair. Maybe we'll just go over a machine. Alright, this is Ryan with Pin Monkey. Thanks for watching.